Jordan Seaton. Jordan Seaton is the number one offensive tackle in the 2024 class. And when I tell you he is a he is great clay to build and mold, he is great clay to build and mold as offensive line coach. I don't think his fundamentals and technique is all the way there coming out of high school. So I'm really curious to see what growth he's made between uh, his last game in high school and today. So we're, we're really checking to see footwork, hand placement, leverage, and uh, can he be firm in pass protection, you know, landmarks, hand placement, and all that stuff and running it as well. So we're going to check out Jordan Seen. He just dropped. He just dropped his uh, first week of spring practice. So we're going to check that video out. I figured I'd watch with y'all together, and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Never stop your feet once you get contact. And then we're off to the race, all right? We got a lot of other good plays on there, which, uh, but I wanted to get it to this point, right? Want a reward, but not the work. <laughs> Most folks want the reward, but not the work. The lottery will stay in the extreme millions. Sometimes you get too big because of the opportunity of the reward without the work. <laughs> you would never have consistent success or achieve the reward you desire without the work. That's what you should say, without the work. <laughs> the boy got a typo. I do typos too, so you good. So it says, we're living in a time and era whereas most folks want a reward but not the work. The lottery will stay in the extreme millions because the opportunity of reward is an opportunity without reward. Oh, it's an opportunity of the reward without the work. You will never have a consistent success or achieve the reward you desire without the work. So, and that's a, a common, I think that's a common theme in college uh, football, uh, high school recruiting. Uh, a lot of kids want this big old payoff of NIL and 50 million uh, uh, offers and all this stuff, but they don't put nearly the work in to get those. I know because I'm on the ground floor with them from kids to from from uh, five stars to, to to no stars. So and at every and, and all these kids, they it's varying levels of work and you get varying levels of success. I got unranked kids. I know for a fact cannot work some of these five stars and I got five stars that can't nobody out work. I got three. I got a three star at, at, at Missouri that I know for sure finna go <laughs> finna go crazy. Um, he going to go crazy. So. I like that quote, man. He, he got some errors in there, but it's cool, man. It's cool. We 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 human. I, I can only tell you how many errors I make during my lessons when I teach my kids. So let's get it. The reward does not come before the work. Right. <laughs> well, for the fruit snack, oh, those Nutrigrain bars. the the one thing i would critique as far as that that past set tree is he is a bit of a hesitation when he's transitioning uh from the power step to the to the kick slide but uh, i don't know exactly uh i'm not getting the whole drill so I'm gonna that again. make sure i saw that right I don't know how I feel about this drill. Yes, yes. 
Okay, 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 okay. So yeah, I think I like the kick slide. I don't like the power step down. So I like what he's doing with because he's on, he's playing left tackle. Uh, so his kick slide leg was the leg you kick back with. But I don't like the power step. I don't think he's putting enough force into the ground. He's not keeping those toes pointed where they need to go. But but he does look a lot better than he did on film at the high school at IMG. Uh, so we just, probably need to, you know, I don't think they're going for speed here, just more so uh, just footwork and fundamentals and stuff like that. But I like it. Got to work on that power step, though. Got to work on that power step. You got to throw that foot down. You got to throw it down. Throw it down. And you see, if you notice, if you notice, he 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 kind of drops that power step down. He drops the, that power step back, which is a bad, that's a bad habit because you want to throw that power step either flat down the line of scrimmage or slightly forward to, to keep your force and your power going forward. When you drop that step, even an inch back, you, you create a crease and an opening for that defensive line to club you and go inside. Or uh, once you open that hip, uh, he going straight to the quarterback. So uh, you're gonna have to work. You're gonna have to work on keeping that. That it, Jordan, if you watch this, probably not. If you watch this video, hey man, keep that foot flat. Throw that power step in the ground. Kind of want to keep. Even if you gotta take half an inch, half an inch, a half an inch step forward, just to just so you can open emphasize it at practice. That'll help you a lot, man, in maintaining your inside leverage versus uh, a defender going inside. See how he, you see how he dropped it slightly? I'm gonna put it in slow mo. You see how he dropped it ever so slightly on that second on that second power step. Watch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause it. It's all right. We're gonna go slow mo right here. Let me expand this out so I can see my thing. We're gonna slow more right here. Y'all gonna see a ever so slightly drop. A ever so slightly drop. And this is and this ever so slightly drop is the difference between uh walling off and sealing that and, and maintaining that inside leverage or uh that or that guy getting to the quarterback. Watch. Watch here it come. He dropped it back. That foot should have came either flat or slightly up the field. You always kind of in when you're doing air drills, in my opinion, you always want to kind of power step in up up the field because you know when you're going against a live person, you you're not going to get up the field pr progress. You're gonna more so break even, which is fine. I'm fine with breaking even, but I cannot have that that inside foot dropping and him getting the beat line to the quarterback. I can't have that. So y'all yeah, just want to show y'all that real quick. But like I said, it's just preference, man. Every coach has their own different preferences, and that's just something I saw just then. Let's get it. He did it again. He also puts way too much weight once he once he's about to transition from the power step to the kick slide. He's putting way too much weight on that front knee. Uh, that's why he's that's why he has to kind of gather himself because he's putting too much weight on that front knee. He needs to just kind of keep it centered uh, so he can transition a little bit better. But overall, it's good.
All right, so number one for me, this is just a pet peeve. It's just, you know, every coach has their own coaching points. Me personally, uh, I'm not a fan of the outside hand punch. I feel like that should be a, a large resort. I feel like he's oversetting a tad bit. You know, for me, offensive tackles should always stay on that that inside half of that that defensive end because you always want to you always want to stay on the inside. That way you can flush him and work him wide. Uh, versus if you jump the whole man, a lot of times you get these guys a, a three way go um, or a two way, at least a two way go. Uh, they can go, they can, once you jump them head up, they can club you and go inside, swim and go inside. They can dip you or dip and rip and go outside. They get a lot of options. So I think it's, I think he's oversetting a little bit. And I, I am not a fan of punching with the outside hand. That outside, that outside hand is really, once you want to shoot that outside hand, really. When you're ready to lock it on and sit it down. Once you beat that, once you beat that defensive lineman to his vertex, once you beat him to that imaginary point where two lines meet, that's when you want to put that outside hand on him. Other than that, you want to hit him with that that inside hand and, and force him, keep flushing him wide. That way you can create a pocket, a natural crease. Uh but when you get overly aggressive with that outside hand, uh it can you can easily uh get beat outside because most of the defense alignment, well, just about every defense alignment move is predicated on knocking your hands down. Get, they can get to that elbow and t- get you to turn that shoulder, you're dead. You know, they get you to turn your shoulders either way, you're dead. So I don't, I'm not a big fan of the outside hand punch, but I do like, I do like the punch. I just don't, I'm not a big fan of teaching the outside hand punch. That should be a last resort. Once, like I said, once you beat him to the spot and we locking on, running off feet, maintaining that inside leverage, you know, hands inside, you know, you don't want to get any jersey pulls or anything like that. But yeah. He also, he also lunges a lot. Trying to get that outside hand. He wants you a lot. Trying to push with that outside hand. But you, you have to make up the workout. Man, you gotta throw that. You gotta throw that power step down. Man, you been real soft with that power step. Hey, look, how I teach my guys. If I can't hear your power step, you ain't bringing no power. Like he 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 bring that power step so soft, man. Bring that man. Throw that. I'm, I'm trying to curse, but throw that mofo down, man. Throw it in the ground. It's practice, man. You is you not gonna get that same force and that same emphasis in the game. We know that, but you gotta practice it, man. You gotta mentally get used to just boom, 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 boom. You gotta throw that thing down fast. You gotta hit it quick. You can't lollygag, man. Especially at this level of football, you gotta throw that thing down quick. Get into your leverage. Steps too many too. He could have got three steps in when he took two. He said boom boom boom. He could have do 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 do. Gotta get that foot speed up, boy. Outside him, it just make my nerves bad when y'all be doing this outside him and my nerves bad. See, and the thing is, when you do that outside hand punch, uh, naturally, I always think it's, and I mean, physically, I think I'm not a physics person, but if you apply the physics, you wherever you apply force, that's going to shift that, that, that defense alignment in that direction in most cases. So if you apply force to his outside, to his outside shoulder, he's going to go inside. You don't want him to go inside. When you apply force to that inside shoulder, he's going to more likely tilt outside and keep his momentum and force going outside. That way you can ride him around the hump. You can work him flat. All you can you can ride him all the way to the sideline if you do it right. But then when you punch him with that inside hand, yeah, you can stop his momentum sometimes. But if he's setting you up for an inside move, you are actually giving him more momentum to beat you inside, in my opinion.
gotta get a little deeper than that, boy. They ain't gonna cut it. You gotta get deep in them stretching, man. Keep your hips from growing and, and all that stuff loose, man. So that means you all get the opportunity. Let's take advantage of it. Let's take advantage of this opportunity. Let's break it down on Rock. He's dominating his opportunity. Come on, bro. Bro. Hey, don't let him do one, two, three. Don't let He gonna get beat inside, I'm telling you. Every time you, every one thing I've noticed with Jordan, every time he punches with that outside hand, he stops his feet. And when you stop your feet, you're dead. You dead, your quarterback dead, and you coming to the sideline. Cause if my quarterback gone, you gone. So everything that's one thing I've noticed. Every time he's punched with that outside lane, he gets a little bit extra lean and he stops his feet. Like every time, every single time I see it, he stops his feet. Feet, he jump hopping and look at he overextended. Look at this, he ain't got any power like this. He just holding on for dear life. Heel toe up, you know. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> That they cutting the whole play. I'll just play the whole thing, man. Let me see the whole play. Oh, that was a great job picking up the inside move. Like, that was that was good. That was good. Probably his best play thus far. He ain't built like two, three plays in, but that's a good play. Feet still slow. Uh, he's not throwing that power step down. A bigger, stronger defensive lineman gonna blow right through that. But just off reps alone, just doing what you're supposed to do. Good job. Good job, boy. That's a good rep. That's a good rep. Still a little lean. Still leaning though. I don't like this. He got like this little crouching. I don't know, man. I don't know. But you see, he got that inside leverage. Once you, if you you can get here, I don't like this elbow. I don't like this elbow. Cause he he can pretty much if he if if his defensive line knew what he was doing, he would have pushed that elbow up, went underneath it, and he would have been all over Shadur's head. Right he kept that leverage and he got pushed right into the that's that's a pressure. That's a pressure, man. It is a pressure. That's too much pressure right on my quarterback. That's too much pressure, man. I don't like it. Oh. Too much pressure, man. On both, I think both tackles. Got some pressure on the quarterback. I don't like that rep. That's not a good rep. He had good leverage, good position, but we got to work on being more firm and working that guy flat. Work him out. Work him flat. Make him work for it. Stretch him. Make him stretch. Push. Another pressure. Too much push. And he did this. I used to do the same thing. This whole when I hit my when I used to do my punch, I do this outward punch instead of coming in, in and underneath. I would we would you know all a lot of young linemen do this outward swing. They think it give you more power, but if you come underneath and you shock the, the breastplate, you can, you can get a lot more force and you can stop stop his rush. A lot more. That's too much pressure, man. You get too much pressure on my quarterback at practice. Come on! Much, much better rep. But once again, he, dude, you, you lunge and just work your set, work your pass set, boom. Keep that inside hand strong. Keep winding them out. Keep winding them out, man. 
I think that was his best pass. It may have been his best pass rep, though. Uh, he didn't give up any pressure. He let he he rolled the pocket. I just need him to be a little more firm. And you know what these lighter guys, Jordan Seaton is not that big. He like 6'5, 6'6, 285, 2, 290. Uh, you know, so he still got pack, he still got that baby, that baby body. He's gonna get his man body in the next two years. But you don't want to have to work on being firm. So if if y'all send if Jordan Seaton sees this, man, hey bro, I'd love to work with you in, in your off time, man. If you ever in the A. And the thing is with Jordan Seaton, I think he's even though he's highly touted, highly recruited, and uh, you know has all this notoriety, I think he's a, a kid, a man that would soak up any uh, good coaching, man. I think he'll soak it up, retain that information, and the sky's the limit. Because, you know, a lot of these top players, they can't take hard coaching. I think him being at IMG Academy and playing that level of competition so early and at the at the level that he played it at, I think he's going to be, and you know, I think he, he'll be fine. That's the pressure. I told you. Every time you shoot that outside hand, it's top of speed. Watch. Ready to move. Ah. Boom, it's top of speed. Drop his answer. I told you. When I watch, we watch we watch the pass set drills early. What do you do? Every time we get a pass set, every time we get a power step down, he he's do a slight drop, and that one two inch drop in in the in the pass set tree turn into like a whole a foot when somebody applying pressure to you. All right, so. Gotta get Jordan. If you like I said, if you watch this video, you gotta get more force in that power step, man. That's gonna you can stop all that interior pressure if you just be more forceful. That's gonna force him to come back outside. We can just keep widening them flat, keep widening them, keep widening them to the to the sideline. All right. See, he said the same thing. He dropped that inside foot. Where is it? Good. Now that was a good rep. Dude also didn't try to beat him outside either, but I think if he would have went inside again, he would have dropped that inside foot. But Jordan does a good job defending outside Ready, pass. Good set. Good, good job on that one. That was a good rep. Good set. And this is the thing, with this rep right here. This particular rep, once he, the thing that got Jordan on this one is once he got to that, once he got to that vertex and they was at that, that mesh point, he took a step back. We should be put, applying some pressure. You, know, you got to meet force with force sometimes. So you, if you just if you take a step back and he push you back, he finna ride you right to the quarterback, and that's a bar. Didn't mean to do that bar, but it's a bar. So let's go. Watch him take a step back. You see, he took a step back. And and if a, if a dude hits you with your foot off the ground, you dead. He done already he done made contact with you with this foot in the air. You're dead. You don't have a stable base. Now, mind you. Jordan is only a freshman. He's only, he was in high school. <laughs> he's supposed to be in high school right now. So keep in mind, he's only a freshman going against uh, sophomores, juniors, seniors in college. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. He's only a freshman doing what he's doing. And everything he needs to work on, trust me, uh, those coaches at Colorado are going to make sure this man is straight. I promise you. Jordan is a, a 
not the biggest as far as weight. So anybody, you know, any, you know, he can he can get pushed back. The ideal size for O line is about three fifteen. He about 25, 30 pounds off from that. He'll get there. Trust me. He he's supposed to be. He's he's really supposed to be a senior in high school right now. But he's already early enrolled at Colorado. So, you know, we gotta give him that air of grace. I don't like this, Jordan. You know, for, you shouldn't have. Now, I got to get you for this. You shouldn't have put this man getting coached up, another player getting coached up. This is your highlight tape. This, this should have never made This should have never made the tape. This should have never made the cut. I, I know for a fact you got some coaching points, too, that, that, didn't, that did not make this tape. So I don't like that. You did you did your teammate dirty with this one by putting this clip in there. Um, you putting your own coaching points in there is cool, but putting him getting chewed out by the coach on your tape is – that's not cool, bro. <laughs> that ain't cool, man. But you know, you live and you learn. What's on your daily food? Dude, I don't want to see that shit. Make yourself feel good because you did what you coached to do, and then you didn't finish. Come on, man. You better than that. For real, when you use your hand, can't nobody fuck with you. Line up right here. Speed them feet, them feet up, them foots up. You got to speed your feet up, sir. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't like these first two steps. First two steps, you need to take a step. You got to take the steps, big fella. You got to get those first two steps. Good job, this is good steps. Hey, Jordan, like I said, bro, I would love to work with Jordan Seaton. I can get, I'll get Jordan right, especially on this reach play. Jordan, dude. All right, to all you young offensive linemen out there, anytime you ask to do a reach block on your inside hand, you need to grab on this inside shirt and pull down. Simultaneously, you need to take your outside hand and push up on that, that outside shoulder blade of the defender and work your head around, and that's you easy get a reach every time. Every time, push, pull, drive the car, pull down, push up. That's all. It's easy. Easy. <laughs> pull down, push up. Get that hat, hat, outside hat placement. You're good. You're good. Trust me. But Jordan got to get his hat together. He ain't working his hand like he should. He got, he got beat at the end. Should never get beat outside on the outside zone play. Never. Good hustle. Great hustle. Jordan, he looked a lot better in the, the team rep. I think that was team. 
um, and pass. At least those the plays they've showed, he looked good. I think about five good plays. He looked good, man. He looked good, those guys. Oh, that's <laughs> Back up a little bit. Yeah, there. Yep. Yep. Good. Oh, same thing again. I'd like to get some extra work after practice. I like it. This, I'm a, but them back at the, I don't want to say this. They're not going to back up in the game. They're going to be all up on you. And I, and I think that's part of the reason you you kind of struggled a little bit in those those pass reps and the the one on one pass reps because you're so used to telling that dude to back up instead of making him back up with your footwork, with your hand placement, with your leverage. Cause they gonna be up on you. You ain't gonna, you gonna say, "Hey, back up, man!" You can't tell them to back up, man. Play gonna they on your head. They applying pressure. You gotta force pressure. You gotta fight pressure with pressure, man. So that's my only real critique with this drill is, a hey, get used to them being up on you, man. Being that get used to punch, making that punch while they right up on you. Cause they gonna be up on you in the game. All right. So but anyway, man, I'm gonna drop this full video in the comment section for y'all to watch it. Without my commentary, I don't know how long this video is right now. Maybe like 25 minutes long, maybe. Uh, but, hey, man, I, I'm loving what Jordan Seaton is doing. Uh, I'm loving the progress he's making. I think he's going to be – because he's only a freshman. He only He's supposed to be in high school right now. So, I'm loving it. Keep doing what you're doing, my boy. Um, excited to see how much you grow over the next few years.